Hi there, welcome to Chemical Engineering Lessons. Today we are going to download Octave. So let's do it together. You want to go into your search browser. I prefer Google, so I'm going to go ahead and search Octave GNU. Once that is up, you want to click on this one here, the www.gnu.org. Octave is more sort of, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but a free version of MATLAB. So it's available to everyone and everyone with either uh, my, a Windows or a iOS. So let's go ahead and click on download. You will see a pop-up um, tab bar here. If you're using a Mac, you can click on Mac. If you're using Windows, click on Windows. I'm using Windows myself, so I'll be showing you how to download Octave for MS Windows. So here are different versions of Octave that you could download. You usually want the latest, you know. Um, so let's take, um, let's take this one here. So it's going to download into your laptop, let it load. It might take some time, but you want it to finish. Do not disturb the process. If you're generous enough, you could also come and donate just to say thank you for giving us such a great um, engineering software that we can easily download for free into our desktops without having to pay lots of money and still be able to complete our studies and further our studies using the GNU Octave. Once your Octave is complete, we will now proceed to the next step. Now that your Octave is complete downloading, double click on the download tab. After installing, this pop-up tab will pop up and you will just say finish. Now Octave is installed onto your computer. Now that we have installed Octave onto your desktop, it will be something sort of this. You can personalize it however, but automatically it will just be on your desktop. That's how we installed it. We can change anything. It directly directed itself to your desktop. If you want it closer to you, you always pin it to your taskbar. If you don't want it here, you can always just unpin it. Now, you will see that there's two Octaves installed, even though we just installed one file, automatically it gave me two files. There's Octave CLI and Octave GUI. If you click on this Octave CLI, you will see that the display is different. It appears black and it's just more of a programming app. Well, yes, this is a tab that you come to when you're not familiar with Octave. It's more user-friendly for programmers with great experience with programming. But it, and it works something similar to your command windows. For example, if you click in your command windows, on the other Octave, which says GUI, only click once, because it will open many times. It opens as many times as you click on it. You will see this your command windows where it will be doing all functions and it was also editor where you can also program. So don't worry, if you want more knowledge, you can just check out my lesson one. I've summarized everything for you. And lesson two, I've also summarized everything for you. More lessons are coming up. If you need more lessons and um, help, just email me and I might respond with a video. Thanks for watching.